Effect on PRP treatment if I consume Accutane 10 milligrams? I wanted to do PRP face injection, but I've been consuming Accutane 10 milligrams for less than a month. Anyone know of side effects if I do the injection? Because I heard I should stop for at least six months, then I can do the laser or face injection. Can anyone please explain and clarify with me, please? Because PRP injection is very good for skin, and the fastest way to make your skin glow and not damage from acne. Thank you for your question. You submitted a single photo, and the, the, your question, you're stating that you've been on Accutane, 10 milligrams, for less than a month, and you want to know if it's safe to do PRP, and you were concerned about the effect of improvement of the skin quality, and you want to know whether there's an issue while you're on Accutane, or should you wait till you stop using Accutane before doing PRP. Well, I can certainly give you uh, my perspective on your question and how I would counsel someone like yourself uh, in my practice. So just a little bit of background, I'm a board certified cosmetic surgeon and fellowship trained oculofacial plastic and reconstructive surgeon. I've been in practice in Manhattan and Long Island for over 20 years and I use a lot of PRP in my practice for everything such as improvement of skin glow in terms of complexion, for acne scars, for under eye dark circles. I use it a lot for healing after laser and we even combine that with uh, a cellular matrix and a method we developed called hair regeneration for male and female pattern hair loss. So I have a lot of experience with PRP. So I understand your eagerness to want to do something, but you should at least have an understanding of what the role of Accutane is for your situation. Clearly you met with a physician who felt that it was beneficial to you to have to be placed on Accutane. And the reason is, it's because you are dealing with a lot of inflammation, a lot of acne. So what Accutane essentially does, it shrinks the, the, uh, the glands the, that are responsible for secreting the oils that are associated with acne. Now, it's important to understand that when this advice is given about stopping Accutane and then doing a procedure, it is generally with the idea of how is the skin going to heal. You see, the functional restoration of, let's say, the skin after a trauma, after injury, the epidermis, requires functioning, what's called pilosebaceous units, the little hair follicles, that are called the vellus hairs as well as the regular hair follicles that you can see. That's where the epidermis comes back from. Now, that being understood, you can understand that there has, when the skin is traumatized and someone is on Accutane, there's a potential for scarring that's undesirable. So when it comes to PRP, technically speaking, you can get PRP injection because the injection is not really traumatizing the skin very much. But the question really is, from, from my mind, is what's the role of PRP at this point of your acne treatment? I would typically suggest to someone like yourself is to wait. Allow active inflammation to be resolved. See how your skin looks and then you can start with considering doing PRP and seeing how it improves the skin. You know, PRP, the mechanism is, has, PRP is the platelet-rich plasma, and it is a, it's a concentration of the wound healing factors necessary when you have a cut. So it stimulates collagen, it stimulates blood supply, it, it does so many things that benefit the skin quality that we, we, we use it a lot to help our patients in a variety of situations, as I mentioned earlier. So from, from that understanding, it's almost like you, you, you might have, be overlapping something unnecessarily. 
you may want to just kind of just first resolve active inflammation. Let the acne resolve and calm down and then consider PRP injection. And I want to differentiate that from the treatments that often are combined with PRP such as microneedling. If you're going to microneedle then now you're making an injury, multiple injuries in the skin and you really rely on the skin to generate, to be regenerated through the hair follicles. So in general I would say that for a mild procedure with minimal trauma like microneedling you want to wait at least three to three months and probably I would recommend six months. I think it's, it's, it, it, there, are, there isn't a lot lost. You know, that, I think that's what, what you're probably concerned most about is missed opportunity. But I, I, I would tell you that we, we use PRP in people who are much older and they benefit. So you don't have to necessarily rush into everything all at once. I would say allow the Accutane to work, do whatever else you need to do, discuss with your doctor when it's safe to do these other procedures, let your doctor guide you. You know, this is usually Accutane is prescribed by a dermatologist. Dermatologists have the most experience with the use of this drug because they treat so much acne, particularly adolescent acne, and in that subgroup, cystic acne. And so, um, it's very important that an experienced doctor guide you about their opinion based on how, when they recommend patients be, do anything invasive after completion of Accutane therapy. If, in, in our practice, we always wait at least six months, and even if it's a little bit longer or a year, that's okay too, because there's there is not, in, in these types of situations where we're trying to work on improving skin quality, these, this time frame is really not that much of, a, of an issue in terms of like missed opportunity. You're not, your skin is not going to deteriorate in that time if you didn't do something. You know, the skin, especially when you're younger, has remarkable resilience. And so just do things methodically. It's not always best to do multiple things at once. So I hope that was helpful. I wish you the best of luck and thank you for your question.